Hello there. This is uh, the second video regarding the uh, scanner uh, project. But this time I'm using a Alan Bradley's Compact Logics PLC. For the rest, it's pretty much the same. I'm using here a breadboard to couple the 24 volts to 5 volts that I use in the separate motor circuit. So these two outputs here are wired to some optocouplers and then I get five volts to pulse the separate motor and the rest well that's the uh, PLC that is connected using Ethernet cable to the laptop and the cutness uh, connects to the PLC but I need to invert the signal so I use a uh, PMP transistor and a resistor to uh, invert the output from the Cognis checker. So the logic was developed using RS uh, Logics 5000 uh, version 20 and it's pretty much the same. I'm also using indirect addressing. I got the controller tags. Um, I try to optimize that so I made a matrix array here which is where I store I store on these matrix values uh, the positions at which the, the the symbols are detected these two symbols as the usual it's pretty much the same paper piece of paper and uh, the same stuff so the program on the checker is not being altered. I just made a new logic uh, for the new PLC. And it's pretty much the same stuff, except there were some changes made to the logic, of course, because uh, addressing is totally different on Compact Logics than it is with MicroLogics and SLCs. Uh, it's, actually more it's actually friendlier, but you get used to the old SLCs, PLC5s. A MicroLogics um, structure so I just label them pretty much the same stuff although this is obviously RS Logics 5000 but I just kept the names the same just for the sake of troubleshooting but I just added some wrong comments just to remind me what this wrong was doing and of course it's running in the background, so it's, it's, this is Ethernet IP is really fast. It's not like RS-232. This is really fast. So both HMI and Compact Logic can run simultaneously. They use they just use different pro, different ports. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna start the process. So by pressing this button here, which is called Go to Home, gonna really start seeing how the uh, current position display is documenting and the axis is slowly moving back home that's referencing itself so this is like a scanner it's, it's kind of an axis so it's controlling the axis first and it's to be referenced because it's got, it's got no encoder on itself so the way after power up it will uh, move home until the home switch is triggered and then it will send the count value to uh, zero in this case it will wait for two seconds and then it will start the scanning process so now it's scanning and you can start seeing where the, the checker found the first symbol and then the second symbol and there should be a part about 150 or 145 uh, pulses apart. That is close. So there you have it. It's the same uh, system, but now using a much newer PLC from Alan Bradley. Um, and of course, everything is uh, open source. I the HMI is open source. It's a wonderful project that these guys behind HMI Advance created. Thank you.
guys for such a great product and you can even go to eBay and purchase uh, an additional uh, set of uh, like um, objects like different gauges or uh, instruments you can add to your HMI will like it even better so it's a great project hope you guys keep it alive adding new drivers to it well that's all for me hope you liked the video comment if you like and thanks for watching